Now that you've done the work to pick your classes for next year, we will ask you to enter them into PowerSchool itself. After you enter your courses into PowerSchool, you will have a scheduled meeting with your counselor. No need to schedule one at this time. We will find you. The first classes that you'll be selecting is mathematics. To enter a course or to select a course in PowerSchool, you will need to click on the pencil to the right. When doing so, you will see your options. All freshmen will pick algebra. You do need to pick an A and a B section. Once you've selected your A and B, select OK. Again, the math sequence is Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, Trig Precalc, and then AP Math. Again, you need to select at least one full credit here. Moving down to Social Studies, again, click the pencil. Your options will come up. You will need to pick an A in a B section. Once you've done so, Scroll to the bottom and select OK. Science is the next category. Again, all freshmen take biology. After your freshman year, you will have more options. Remember, for upperclassmen, chemistry or physics is also required along the way. English is the next section. Again, please pick one credit of ELA. Select the pencil on the right. If you want to select honors, make sure you are selecting both honors sections, A and B. Once you get to this point, please review those first four sections. Make sure you have an A and a B that are the same course. Now you'll be selecting your last two credits. Maybe world language. Again, these are full year courses. Select A and B. If you are selecting a .5 credit course, remember that is only one semester. Once you've made your selections, click OK. Once you get to this point, double check to see that you have all six choices selected, six credits. Once you have six credits selected, you may now select your alternates. Alternates are backup choices to your electives. They may show up based on conflicts in your schedule next year. Again, select the pencil. You will need to select two credits of alternate credits. You'll notice at the bottom that there are multiple pages of electives. And if you are an upperclassman, you will see many additional pages. You will also be able to see a course description of these in the course guide. Remember that useful tool. Once you have selected two credits worth of classes, you will have completed your selections at this time.